Carlos Rosila, how are you, my friend? I'm good, thank you, Wei. Thank you, Lovely to see you again. Uh, so, let's talk about uh, what you're launching now. Uh, so, we're going back to the aviation instruments, the flight instruments, the ICON, the PRO3. Uh, and you've got a couple of really cool watches with HUD displays. For those of you guys who are wondering what that is, that is called Heads Up Display. Uh, so, tell us first of all, what is Heads Up Display? And second of all, how did you manage to use this in the design of a watch? Okay. So, uh, we have to remember that Ben & Ross comes from the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard instrument is the most inspirational object for Ben & Ross because when you love aviation, the dashboard makes that you can pilot the plane. And yes, we took the inspiration in today in modern airplanes. You have um, in the cockpit this dashboard that makes that you see you have, you have all the information which are in the screen in front of you, whether it is on the helmet, whether it is on the on the cockpit, and we took the inspiration of um, of all those elements, uh, which is head-up display, which gives you the information with this high luminescence, this green tone uh, that are uh, for the for the fighter pilots. I think this is very important for us that. In Bell & Ross, there is the off-road, there is the on-road. There is the city guy and there is the guy who are in the air, uh, whether it is the, the, the aviation, whether it is the diver, whether it is the, the pilot of Formula One. And here, in this case, the biggest inspiration was, of course, the aviation that uh, we, took, we took the inspiration of the central part of the cockpit and we transfer it to the watch um, with those three different uh, elements that are in the dial. It's, really cool. Uh, of course, the, the dial which is tainted, it's a sapphire uh, crystal tainted with those four parts of the, of, the, of the dial. Then you have to give the hour um, this this element that were in the flight instrument, which I'm going to explain you, and and then you have the central disc and all the luminescence coming uh, coming from the numbers with, of course, the C3 super superluminova, which gives this brightness of the watch. I love that. That's really cool. So so yeah. you just. You were, you were saying that when you have a heads-up display in the cockpit of a plane, so what you'll see in all four of the corners is this kind of like l shape and that's actually kind of like the margins that define what your field of vision is when you're in the cockpit looking at a heads-up display. Is that correct? Exactly. This is it, and this is what was the inspiration and what we transfer on the, on the dial to have, this, uh, to have this feeling that you have all the information corresponding to what you need here it just a watch it's just to tell you the time but for the fighter pilot he has all the information he needs on the, the display and with this luminescence that's cool i love how there, there's this like kind of very cool minimal a machine kind of minimalism i guess it almost feels like it's floating when you have this circular disc for the hour display and then uh, it, also the hands they look like they're almost detached from the center pinion as well. So it kind of looks like they're also floating as well. So this very interesting sort of play with your perception there. And then of course you've got that green sapphire. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the watch is on a 42 mm uh, matte black ceramic case, correct? Correct, correct. And this, this feeling that is floating is coming from the central disc because, and also the way we, we have adjusted the, the, the hands because the central part of the hands uh, are totally black, so you don't see the central part of the hand. You just see this little arrow, which is in the disc, and then the hands of the minute, which which uh, and and but you don't see. It's really intriguing because you don't see the central part, so it's really like floating. And the central disc is something that we have been using in the flight instrument when we are doing the heating indicator, the altimeter, all those flight instruments, uh, which were a correspondent to the, to the uh, most important uh, elements uh, which are in the dashboard. We have used this technology, which we master 
during the flight instrument in this new watch in the HUD. That's cool. I just realized also that these four kind of margins to define the screen, um, they're actually painted on, or they're, they're on the sapphire. Is that, so they're floating on the right. top of the which gives it even more this sort of sense of like a, 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 a dimension to it. Very cool. Yeah, what, what, what is weird, what, what is weird in this watch is that, uh, um, of course, it's not a digital, it's a mechanical one, but you have the feeling that it is uh, analog, it, is, it, it, it represents uh, a feeling of very cool modernity on the, on the watch, but we have kept the principles of beautiful watchmaking with traditional one with, of course, the mechanical aspect that is inside the movement. So it's a mix of modernity of uh, analog and digital. There is no digital uh, movement here. There is obviously a mechanical one, but you have the feeling that you are in a futuristic world. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I think that uh, in terms of watch strap, we, we, uh, we have been using the Velcro. The Velcro makes that it's very uh, comfortable when you wear it on a jacket, when you want to wear it on your pilot suit. So, and you have both options to wear it with this Velcro strap, very comfortable, or with the rubber one. And of course, it's, uh, it matches perfectly the ceramic case uh, that is one today one of the core values of the BR3. So really, we have we have kept what was I think very important in this in this collection in this watch in this iconic, which is to transfer the dashboard on the waist, and you have this feeling. And of course, uh, Belandras today we have we have developed a lot of uh, uh, inspiration coming from this dashboard. I think this is one of the very intriguing because you feel that you are in the dashboard of a fighter plane. It's just cool. Like I would wear this when I was riding my motorcycle, you know. I, I dig it also because I think it's, it's also reminds us, these kind of watches remind us of we should have fun. Like the watches should like make us smile, you know, it should, it should bring a little bit of energy. Uh, and I think that, you know, having come out of this, this period uh, just previous to this, uh, where we're all in isolation for so long, I think it, it reminds us that we all we should all enjoy life a little bit as well. And these watches are a really nice representation of that. 909 nine pieces, uh, limited edition, uh, comes with the two straps. Um, really cool. I mean, just, it's just a great watch. Um, so, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, it's a cool one. And, and really, we have captured what was the most important, the soul of the plane, the dashboard, the cockpit, the, the head of indicator. And you have this, really this, this feeling when you're, when you're wearing this watch. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the inspiration of the heroes of the fighter pilots. And as I was mentioning, uh, whether we go into the hero's world, whether we go into the city, we want to, give the feeling to the person who has uh, who are wearing those watches that they transfer into another field excellent well carlos thank you so much for joining us um thank you Wade. and i know uh, we'll be joining you again in a, sh in a short while uh to discuss a new diving watch uh that you'll be launching which is a watch that um, I, I think maximizes visibility in all conditions so thank, thank you. you very much and great to see you thanks my friend my pleasure Bye.